want to do that no more. That just ain't for me. I thank the Lord every day I ain't have to go and stay in prison. Uh-uh. And I should have been there forever and ever and ever. But thank the Lord that he kept me and I don't have to go there. So i got to be able to come out here and put this gospel out and tell them this is how it is. Jesus is still alive. Amen. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. He's still got just as much power today as he had when he was here on the earth. And not only that, but he's the same God that was in the Old Testament. Uh -huh. That poured his wrath out on folk that didn't do what he wanted them to do and walked out of covenant with him. Especially those that had been in covenant with him and then wanted to be disobedient. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's the same God. He ain't changed. I don't know where we came up with this idea that he ain't the same, but he is the same <laughs> God. He don't ever change. See, when you God, you don't ever change. You always going to be whatever you are. Whatever your essence is in the beginning, it's always going to be. There ain't no, uh, uh, what to call that? Uh, 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 uh. No, uh, he ain't that either. No. <laughs> uh, I can't think of the word now. You know, they're look, look, looking for the missing link so they can prove it. Uh, Evolution. Oh. Evolution. Yeah. He ain't going to evolve. Nope. How he was in the start, he ain't going to change. He's going to be just the same. He's not going to evolve over millions of years and be something else at the end. That's right. He's just constant. Amen. And his way is, is going to be this way. you got one way. His way. You can't go over. You can't go under. You can't go around. You must go in at the door. Amen. And so this is going to be the way. This is what Paul is telling them here is I'm going to come and it's going to be this way. I'm not going to back up off of it. I'm not going to change. You're either going to come in this way or you ain't getting in. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And so Paul has said, I'm coming to preach this gospel. That is the gospel. That is the good news, is that Jesus came and died and rose again, and if you put your faith in Him, you're going to make it in. Mm -hmm. And if you don't put your faith in Him, you ain't going to make it in. Amen. It's just that simple. See, and we have so many people that want to pick and choose and do all these things. I had an inmate write me the other day and asked me about a guy named Lou White, and so I started investigating him because he wanted to know about what was going on with this guy. So I started looking. Well, of course, I found somebody that said he was a false prophet. So I was going along with them, and I was reading back and forth. They wrote open letters back and forth to each other. So I said, well, I see some things he's in the area in right here. So I come back out. Well, he's got this long list of all these false prophets. So I start looking. There's Jimmy Swagger. There's Dave Wilkerson. There's Carter Conman on there. So I started looking, well, if you don't believe just exactly the way they believe, then you all are false prophets. Right. And if you go to, and according to their doctrine, if you had organized religion, then you have false doctrine. Mm. Now the other guy was wrong too because he's trying to lead people back into keeping all the festivals of the Old Testament. And that you are forever have to keep the Passover, the Paschal Lamb, and all that kind of stuff. Let me just tell you, Jesus is all the fulfillment of the Old Testament festivals. He's all of them. And if you worship Him and are in Him and you honor Him every day, you're keeping all the festivals. I don't understand how folk get so far off and get out into those things other than they're trying to get back in the flesh and keep the law. But Paul is saying here that the just shall live by faith. That's and all. see, our, our problem is, is that we come to salvation by faith and we receive the Lord by faith. We might get healing by faith, but when it comes to sanctification, we're going to walk it out. We're going to work it out. Yeah. I'm going to work it out in my own flesh. Thank God. It no, it sure don't work. That's one thing that Swaggers and them got. They, they got that down. Mm -hmm. It's going to be by faith and what Jesus paid for a Calvary. You ain't going to get it. Because the Holy Ghost is not going to work through anything else but what, but glorifying what Jesus did there. Amen. Jesus glorified the Father and the Holy Ghost glorified Jesus. And he comes back and tells us everything that he hears them talking about. That's right. And so we're going to get there by that way. It's going to be by But see, when we get in, we come to salvation and we come to know the Lord. And when God cleans us up some, the first thing we want to do is start doing all the rest of it. I don't work all the rest of it out. Yeah. Now look at me. Look how righteous and holy I am. I fasted last week. I prayed for 
45 minutes straight without a break. Even though my mind wandered, 37 minutes of it, I was praying. Y'all that praying in your mind, get to wandering out somewhere? Well, I'm glad I'm not by myself. I'm like, Lord, I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep it over there, but it just keeps going out over there. See, but we get raised up in those things and then we want to start doing it. Well, if I just fast a little bit more, if I just read three more scriptures a day, if I just pray for ten more minutes, if I just give twenty more dollars, then it's going to break that thing off of me and then I'm going to be able to walk holy and righteous before the Lord. And that way, when I get up there, I can say, Lord, look, look what I did. I, I deserve this because I did this right here. No, you deserve to go to a devil hell because you did all that over there. <laughs> See, because if you transgress one point of the law, you transgress all the law. Mm -hmm. But see, we forget about that because we get a religious spirit on us sometimes. We get risen up in pride. It's good, see, because it feels good. It, it, not only, it not only makes the flesh feel good sometimes, but the spirit feels good because the spirit is doing right. Trying to do right. And you're walking in those things that have a, a religious overtone to them. And so it, you get tossed back and forth going in the midst of those things. And, and for long, that spirit thing, has you done moved off into the flesh. And now it's just your flesh feeling good. And so we have to be careful of those things. And that's why you've got to hear the spirit of the Lord. See, we're going in the last days, you're going to have to have discernment. Because the Bible tells us over and over again, it's going to be many that's going to say, Lo, here is Christ. There is Christ. He's over here. He's over there. And it's not saying that they're going to be saying that Christ is actually over there. But they're going to be saying, I've got all of it come out over here and let me tell you all about Jesus. Jesus is only moving right here. So come on over here with me and then we're going to get it going on. Amen. It ain't one place got it. Ain't no man got it all. I don't care who he is. I'm going to tell you right now today that I know that I might be in error. And this is what the people got mad at over there. The man said, well, I might be in error. I'm not trying to be in error, but I might be in error. And then they just went right on. You can love the Lord and be in error. Yeah. You sure can. Yeah. I've done it. Yeah. I love the Lord. But I've been in error over some things. Now, he didn't leave me in error. I didn't keep on persisting in him. Once he started showing me that it was wrong, and I had to repent and come out and say, hey, that's what I told you before. It wasn't right. I thought it was right, but it wasn't right. See, Daryl, I tell Daryl something a year later. I say, you know I looked at that word. That ain't what that word said. He'll say, well, I know. 